Ramadan is going on right now. Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. Uh, it's the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. Muslims are supposed to observe fast during this month, so they're not supposed to eat or drink during the day. It's regarded as the fourth pillar of Islam. The month lasts uh, 29 to 30 days based on the visual sightings of the crescent moon, according to numerous biographical accounts compiled in the Hiddaths. The word Ramadan comes from the Arabic root Ramida or Al Ramad, which means scorching heat or dryness. While fasting from dawn until sunset, Muslims are supposed to refrain from consuming food, drinking water, and sexual relations. According to Islam, the Sawab rewards of fasting are many, but in this month they are believed to be multiplied. Fasting for Muslims in this month typically include the increased offerings of salat prayers and the, rec the recitation of the Quran. So Ramadan. Um, it's going on right now, and it's July right now, July 28th. Uh, the 2011 date was August, so 1st to the 30th. Uh, the 2012 date was 20th or the 21st of July. So I guess that's the, it begins one Ramadan, right? So 20th would be one Ramadan, and it ends 29 or 30 Ramadan. So it goes on for 30 days, 29 to 30 days, starting from the 20th. It's been eight days now, so that means it's going to be another 21 to 23 days from now for all of Ramadan uh, to, to be com completed. Uh, in the Quran, chapter 2, Revelation 185 of the Quran states that the month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Quran, the guidance for mankind, and clear proofs of the guidance and the criterion of right and wrong. And whosoever of you is present, uh, let him fast a month, and whosoever of you is sick or on a journey, a number of other days. Allah desires for you ease. He desires not hardship for you, and that you should complete the period, and you should magnify Allah for having guided you, and that perhaps you may be thankful. Thus, according to the Quran, Prophet Muhammad first received revelations in the lunar month of Ramadan. Therefore, the month of Ramadan is considered to be the most sacred month of the Islamic calendar, the recording of which began with the Hijra. The Hijra. So... Prophet Muhammad, this is during the month of uh, Ramadan, this is when he he got the word of God, and the word of God was talking to him, and that's when he uh, had those revelations. So, beginning of Ramadan, Hilal, the crescent, is typically a day or more the, after the astronomical new moon. Since the new moon indicates the beginning of the new month, Muslims can usually safely estimate the beginning of Ramadan. However, to many Muslims, this is not in accordance with authenticated hiddaths stating that visual confirmation per region is recommended. The consistent variations of a day have existed since the time of Muhammad. Practices during Ramadan. Fasting. Ramadan is a time of spiritual reflection, improvement, and increased devotion and worship. Muslims are expected to put more effort into following the teachings of Islam. The fast uh, begins at dawn and ends at sunset. In addition to abstaining, abstaining from eating and drinking, Muslims also increase restraint, such as abstaining from sexual relations and generally sinful speech and behavior. The act of fasting is said to redirect the heart away from worldly activities, its purpose being to cleanse the soul by freeing it from harmful impurities. Ramadan also teaches Muslims how to better practice self-discipline, self-control, sacrifice, and empathy for those who are less fortunate, thus encouraging actions of generosity and charity. It becomes compulsory for Muslims to start fasting when they reach puberty so long as they are healthy, sane, and have no disabilities or illnesses. Ex exemptions to fasting are travel, menstruation, illness, older age, pregnancy, and breastfeeding. However, many Muslims with medical conditions insist on fat fasting to satisfy their spiritual needs and health care. Professionals must work with their patients to reach common ground. Professionals should closely monitor individuals who decide to persi persist with fasting. Um, just out of curiosity, what type of foods were... Um, Oh yeah, they can't. No alcohol, no pork, blood, or carry on. That's uh, Muslims can't drink any alcohol. They can't eat any pork. No blood or carrion. 
I don't know anybody that eats blood or drinks blood, okay? Well, I guess, like, Catholics, <laughs> they drink wine, and the, they believe that it transforms into the blood of Jesus. Um, all carrion, it refers to the dead and the decay, decaying flesh of an animal, okay? So, don't, uh, don't eat to decaying flesh. So, I guess if it's not being refrigerated or if it's not cooked, don't eat it. So that just sounds like that's just good health. So don't eat carry-on, uh, blood, alcohol, or pork. Uh, the Muslim religion. So um, while fasting is not considered compulsory in childhood, many children endeavor to complete as many fasts as possible as practice for later life. Those who are unable to fast are obliged to make up for it. According to the Quran, those ill or traveling are exempt from obligation. But, uh, but still must make up the days missed later on. Health effects. Fasting does not pose any medical risk to healthy individuals. In fact, Sarah Amir, MS, RD, CDN, says the body has an incredible ability to adapt. She reveals that it takes her only a few days of fasting to get back to her usual activity level. A team of cardiologists in the United Arab Immigrants, or Emirates, found that people observing Ramadan enjoy a positive effect on their lipid profile, which means there is a reduction of cholesterol in their blood. Suhor. Suhor. Each day before dawn, Muslims observe a pre-fast meal called Suhor, considering the high diversity of the global Muslim community. Uma. It is po impossible to describe the typical Suhor, the iftar meals. It can be anything halal. From dinner to iftar leftovers <laughs> to typical breakfast foods to various ethnic food preferences. A few dates and a cup of water are usually the first foods to break the fast, while fried pastries, salads, nuts, legumes, and breads are also common. After stopping a short time before dawn, Muslims hasten to pray the first prayer of the day, the Fijar prayer. Iftar at sunset, families hasten for the fast-breaking meal known as iftar, considering the high diversity of the global Muslim population. It is impossible to describe typical suhar or iftar meals. Suhar can be dinner or iftar, leftovers, typical breakfast foods or ethnic foods. Social gatherings many times buffet style at iftar. Frequent and traditional dishes are often highlighted. A few dates and a cup of water are usually the first foods to break the fast, while fried pastries... Salads, nuts, legumes, and breads are common. Traditional desserts are often unavoidable, especially those made only during Ramadan. Water is usually the beverage of choice, but juice and milk are also consumed. Soft drinks and caffeinated beverages are consumed to a lesser extent. In the Middle East, the iftar meal consists of water, juices, dates, salads, and appetizers. One or more entrees and dessert. Typical entrees are lamb stewed with wheat berries. Lamb kebabs with grilled vegetables or roast chicken served with chickpea studded rice pilaf. A rich dessert such as baklava or kunafa. A buttery syrup sweetened kadifi noodle pastry filled with cheese concludes the meal. Over time, iftar has grown into banquet festivals. This is the time of fellowship with families, friends, and surrounding communities, but also may occupy larger spaces at mizjid uh, or banquet halls for a hundred or more Dinners for many around the world, iftar starts with eating of one or more, usually three dates, as Prophet Muhammad used to do. Following that, Muslims adjourn for the Maghrib prayer, the fourth of five daily prayers, after which the main meal is served. Charity. Charity is very important to Islam, and even more so during Ramadan. Zakat, often translated as the poor rate, as is obligatory as one of the pillars of Islam, a fixed percentage required to be given by those with savings. Sadaqa is voluntary charity and given above and beyond what is required from the obligation of Zakat. In Islam, all good deeds are more handsomely rewarded in Ramadan than in any other month of the year. Consequently, many will choose this time to give a larger portion, if not at all of the zak, uh, zakat for which they are obligated to give in addition many also use this time to give larger portion of sadaqwa in order to maximize the reward that will await them in the day of judgment um, in many, many muslim countries it is a common sight to see people giving food to the poor and homeless uh, and even to see large public areas 
for the poor to come and break their fast. It's said that if a person helps a fasting person to break their fast, then they receive a reward for that fast without diminishing the reward that the fasting person got for their fast. <laughs> okay. Um, in the Ramadan, the Muslim holiday of Eid uh, al-Fitr, sometimes spelled in English as Eid al-Fitr, marks the end of Ramadan, beginning of the next lunar month, called Shawal. In Arabic, the first this first day of the following month is declared after another crescent new moon has been sighted, or the completion of 30 days of fasting. If no visual sighting is possible, returning to the more natural uh, disposition. Oh no, due to weather conditions. Okay. Uh, natural disposition would be able to eat, drink, and resume intimacy with spouses during the day. So you can eat, drink, and fuck after the end of Ramadan. So, no, I guess there's no fucking thing <laughs> during Ramadan. And it sounds like it's no eating and drinking, but then it sounds like there's lots of eating and drinking in the mornings and at nights. So they just postpone their eating and drinking. They cleanse themselves for like a 14-hour period instead of like having three... Um, meals, you know, at 8 and noon and 6 p.m. So I guess from 6 to 8, I mean, that's like a, that's that's 14 hours there, so that's like a Ramadan. Every night we experience a Ramadan. They're just playing with the times. So every morning when I eat breakfast, I'm concluding my Ramadan. Not really. I guess because you're sleeping, but whatever. Um... Cultural aspects, there's uh, decorations, uh, various cultural additions are mistakenly associated as part of the original ce celebrations arising from the time of Muhammad. As many of the forms of celebration in various cultures and countries have added, for example, no symbols of Ramadan were evident in, in any scholarly literature of Muhammad's lifetime, yet in some... Uh, places Ramadan is met with various decorations throughout the streets. For example, in some Muslim countries today, lights are strung up in public places and across city streets to add to the festivities of the month. Uh, in Egypt, lanterns are have become symbolic of Ramadan. They're hung across the cities of Egypt, part of an 800-year-old tradition, the origin of which is said to lie in the Fatimid era, era when the caliph... Al Muzlidinilla was greeted by people holding lanterns to celebrate his ruling. From that time, lanterns were used to light mosques and houses throughout the city. In the West, many Muslim households have taken to decorating the inside of their homes to make Ramadan a more special time for their children. Usually, parents buy new clothes and toys for their children or give them money. Huh. Parents buy new clothes or toys or give them money in America. That's how Muslims in America are celebrated. So it's kind of like Christmas. They give them toys and clothes and money. So Ramadan's like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. For the, you know, compared to Christianity. Um... Last judgment was mentioned. Last judgment, final judgment, day of judgment, judgment day or the day of the Lord. Or in Islam, Yom, Yom al Kriyama or Yom al-Din is part of the estetological worldview of the Abrahamic faiths and the Frash O'Kareti of Zoroastrianism. In Christian theology, it's the final and eternal judgment by God of every nation. The concept is found in all the canonical Gospels, particularly the Gospel of Matthew. It was purportedly take place after the resurrection of the dead and the second coming of Christ. This belief has inspired numerous artistic depictions. So, the last judgment is when, I guess it's all over, right? <laughs> That's when judge God, uh, the eternal judgment by God of every nation, so... Uh, the God of every nation will come down, and the, it's the same time as the resurrection of the dead and the second coming of Christ. So Jesus is supposed to come to earth, and then we're all supposed to be resurrected, and that's when the end of the world, or the God will judge everybody. Um, so that's Ramadan. Uh, nation of Islam, Malcolm X was a member of the Nation of Islam. He went to uh, Africa and saw the Muslims there, and that's when he reformed his beliefs from being an exclusive uh, racist uh, of black supremacist to a more uh, universal view since he saw lots of people joining hands and uh, enjoying brotherhood and sisterhood. Um, 
you know, of all races, regardless of race. So, Nation of Islam is Muslims also. And, um, you know, that concludes my Islam series. Occupy. Peace be with you. Peace. <laughs>